Hi everybody. Um, we are still sick today, and I have Al my daughter Allison with me. She's my middle daughter, too. This is the only one who's not sleeping right now. She really wanted to sit in my lap and do the video with me. She likes be seeing herself on, on camera, <laughs> apparently. So, and she's the only one who's not sleeping. So she's sitting with me. Anyway, um, yeah, we're still getting over our colds. We've had colds and fevers for like the past three or four days. Then losing count, not getting much sleep around here. We're not going to school, at least not able to go to preschool at all. So it's been interesting around here. And I still felt like I wanted to try to, no, no, no do that, no, do that. Anyways, so I wanted to try to um, talk a little bit about my ancestry today. Do you want to get down? You want to get down right now? No. You want you want to be a part of the video? Yeah. You want to show them the pictures that we got out? So I have not got my results yet, but I will probably get them my ancestry DNA results probably within a couple weeks, I'm guessing. They keep sending me texts, you know, like updates about like when how close they'll be and when I'll get them. Um so I'm but meanwhile what I'm doing is here are the, some of the reasons why and here's Again, you never know what, what to expect, and if you're completely right about your family tree and who's your family and where, where you're from, but what, um, you okay? But what I, um, here are some things that I'm thinking about. Um, some of the things that I have been always curious about with my family is, um, um, is, is there um, any like black heritage in our family? And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but also, there's always been some sort of a um, uh, I don't know secrets of or like of a possible affair that you know my dad always kind of wondered if maybe he was someone else's son. Maybe he wasn't actually his the man that raised him son and. There was always some confusion about that, and he would always talk about he actually had a biological father opposed to the one that raised him. And I don't know if that's ever true. There's a, there's a lot of people who feel like there's no reason why he ended up being this guy's son. But, you know, so I just thought, well, it would be kind of fun to kind of just clarify all that and see what's really going on, see, you know, you know, like just kind of make sure. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of people to ask because... Unfortunately, um, I've lost a lot of people in my family. My dad has died. Um, you know, a lot of people from, you know, family members that I would have asked, I could have asked these questions, are no longer around or alive. And so I kind of feel like I'm stuck in the place where, you know, I kind of feel like I need, I need to do, I would like to do this to find answers. Um, but this is, uh, this is my grandmother. She was my my dad's mom, and her name is Mary Louis uh, Geiger. Geiger was her uh, main name, and so she was the one who lived on St. Simon's for a few years. And she had my dad. This is my dad. Uh, he was her only son, and I think he was probably about 12. I think he must be about 10, 12, maybe in this picture. And they this... Uh, my dad was the only baby that they could that they could have because they had a lot of miscarriages and things like that. Um, so he was the only one that kind of made it all the way. And so um, this is also a picture of my dad. Uh, this is him when he was about 30. And um, yeah, and this is kind of like my earliest memories of him. This is how my dad looked, you know, when I was little. And these are like the memories I had of him. Um, before the Huntington's disease set in and everything like that. Um, and let's see here. Let me pull out these photos here. Yeah. And I hope... So, th and this is James William... There's a glare. I'm trying to get off the glare. This is actually uh, James William Newman, my dad's dad. And he was 
his dad. And they there was um my dad was James William the third. He was uh the he was junior and then his parents were at I'm trying to get the glare off you guys, but yeah, hopefully you can kind of see. Um and this is actually the James William Newman, the um like the original. He's James William Newman, you know, the first one. Um and then his son was junior. Um and my dad was third. My brother, James was James William Newman the fourth. Um and so they were able to keep that <laughs> name for many generations actually. Um but what's interesting is that people always said that how, sorry, this is my grandfather um, on my dad's side. People always talked about how much my brother Jim looked just like him. And I think most people who knew him when he was still, you know, you know, when he was a teenager, he looked just like that. Definitely look a lot like each other. Um, and so... The question that we've always had is like, where did the Hunting the Huntington's disease gene come from? And like, um, we really felt like a lot of it probably came from from my grandfather, uh, simply because he had a really hard, dramatic life. He struggled in a lot of ways. He was always um, he struggled with depression. Uh, he finally committed suicide when he was about fifty years old. And when my dad was only 15 years old, um, there's a lot of dramatic stories. There's a lot of like deaths. There's a lot of early deaths and, you know, just suicides and things like that. So he was really, he struggled with issues his whole life. But I think, I think towards the last, people said that, especially the last, like, I don't know, maybe five or even 10 years of his life, he really struggled with. Um, he was having some issues, and our guess could have been Huntington's disease. Perhaps he was having an early set, you know, of the Huntington's disease was maybe coming on him, and he didn't know what was happening to him um, yeah. because they didn't know what it was. You know, at the, they, he, would, he couldn't have known what it was, you know, um, at the time. And so... Maybe, that's our guess. Like that's the best guess. We we think it probably came from him, because he was having such troubled, you know, years and really struggling a lot. And he finally just committed suicide. He was um, really going through a lot. So he finally just. He, I think he just got really overwhelmed, and he ended up uh, just killing himself, which is really sad. So, and unfortunately, my dad was still a young teenager when this happened. So um, that kind of left uh, a very troubled um you know changer for changer hood for my dad you know he was very angry um and i remember um right after he lost his dad like there was something that he always talked about he said that right after days after he had lost his dad um they had a very close doctor friend who was around um who was like best friends with his dad and stuff like that and he was like having an argument with uh, uh, my grandmother, with her, and about the fact that you know Jim that that he thought my dad was his son, and he even told my dad that as my dad was like running up the stairs and he was angry, mad, he was running up the, sta the stairs, and he said that he heard this close doctor friend say. Um, you know, Jim, Jim, you know, you're really my son, you know, like, you know that like, you're really my son. Um, and that really, of course, I mean, like, you don't, it was a, a very wrong way of dealing with it or like even saying it. And a, a, a lot of ways we're just not, a lot of us have felt, felt like it's not true simply because there's so much strong biology and DNA like resemblance within my dad's by a lot, like real dad, the one that raised him. Like there's so much like, um, you know, the fact that my brother looks just like him. Like, you know, so like you were saying, there's lots of reasons why we never really thought that was true. But at the, at the same time, I was just like, well, you know, like it would be interesting to kind of figure out like, you know, like just, I don't know, just to make sure like where we like, where are like, 
my DNA roots, where, where do they come from? Is there any sense of, um, yeah, like we've always kind of wondered as well, is, you know, we kind of feel like my brother, um, Jim, also had really thick, almost sort of um, an Afro type hair. Like he, it was really um, like this is the hair we tend to get in the new movie family. Um, is very, but his hair was always very thick and kinky and, and like very like um, very th uh, um, thick hair, I guess. And just in some ways, it, it almost resembled like you know a black heritage, like you know um, with African American, you know, hair. And um, there are times where you know, like we would kind of wonder, like we kind of feel like, and, and also like there's just a sense of. You know, my, my brother used to have very flared nostrils. You know, there were certain little things about his features that almost looked like maybe there's it's like somewhere way back in our line, like we could just have, he almost looked like he could, um, he has some features of, you know, an African American. So, you know, that's always kind of like, we've always kind of wondered, well, maybe like way back in, you know, um, maybe way back, you know, somewhere in our line, we have some black heritage and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that has nothing to, maybe there really isn't anything to it, you know? Um, and maybe there's, you know, but, you know, I would have always like been curious about that as well. Um, and this is just something that kind of made me, um, I was actually watching this thing from, uh, Megan Ryan, who she has a talk show on YouTube that I've been watching. Um, and she interviews, like, she's very well known. She interviews people, um, you know, of course, like, a, a lot of her stuff is, like, biological, you know, DNA results and things like that. But somebody that I was recently watching um, was this lady who found out that her mom, you know, like, um, who looked, uh, or that her mom was passing as white. And this is the book that she written. This is the book right here. And it's called uh, White Like Her. And so what this lady, ha who looks absolutely white, she looks like a white person. You know, she looks like a beautiful white, you know, woman. And, but actually had, you know, black um, history, like a black, um, you know, uh, I think maybe like a, like a grandfather or something. It was pretty close to her. But she um, pretended to be white her whole life and never told her, you know, her, her daughter or anything like that, you know, that she, you know, about the black roots they had. So I just thought that was so funny as I really thought, well, she looks a lot like my grandmother and they have like very similar Afro like hair. Like it's very curly. It's very um, kinky and thick. And I was just like, holy crap, maybe I need to do a little checking to make sure maybe I need to like, yeah. so like that was what made me think. I was just like, there's always a possibility. I mean, and so that's, that's some of why that's some of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and get a DNA, um, you know, um, re or send in my DNA, um, and find out my results because I'm really curious. And honestly, all this could be nothing and like everything could be okay like fine maybe there's actually not really any black roots but it's just something that I just always kind of wanted to know so hopefully when I get this within a couple of weeks I would like to, to like let you guys know uh, what happens and what I know and I've always been very curious I, I, I'm somebody who likes to get the answers to something you know like I'm, I'm uh, you know some people just like oh I I, I just made my husband's this way too he's just like I'd rather not know. Maybe I just would. I just would rather not like know all that stuff. Like I'm fine not knowing, and that's. But I'm kind of the opposite of that. I feel like I'm the person who needs to like dig down to get the answers, and it's it's not. It's more about the truth. I need to get the truth of like what's really happening, and that's that's really important to me, and so that's why um, I felt like I just wanted to dig deeper with um all this. And, um, and, but I will definitely let you guys know when, you know, I get my results in and I will, um, you know, keep you guys posted on when I get my DNA results. So, um, anyways, I know that I hope that you guys enjoyed this and in, in case you guys are interested, you can watch my DNA, um, 
uh, video whenever I post that. And um, thanks for watching, guys.